Hey guys and welcome back to another one and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. Now today we have another mini computer right over here to be reviewed but before we go to the review itself I would like to mention a few things here one of which is we are about to start a new and exciting season of new mini computers and Android TV boxes that are coming to the market and I already have a few over there waiting for me to test them out and then of course share them with you. That being said in concern to this mini computer over here um, I have to be honest it doesn't bring anything new to the table at least anything new that we haven't seen here on the channel but it has one thing that caught my attention which is the price and the price is always important in everything at least on, on my opinion it is so you can get one of these for 70 us dollars and on my opinion it is a very low budget for a machine like this it has its pros it has its cons and usually i don't mention prices here on the channel because prices are always changing and have in mind that this price is at the time of the recording so if you watch this one year later probably it's lower because the machine is old but uh, just have that in mind another thing that I would like to mention before we begin this is that uh, if you visit the shop with the cozy one shop um, and I will leave the link down below you will not fi find a button that says the buy button usually we find that on online shops but on cozy one you don't have so you will have to contact them and ask for a quote and you will get a price depending on how many machines you want. If you want one, you can expect $70, but if you want 100, then you can expect a lower price. And that is it. So guys, this is it. Let's go for the review. Hope that you guys enjoy it. And as always, I'll see you in a few seconds. So here we are with the Cozy One Mini PC that features the Intel Z3735F, 2GB of DDR3 RAM and 32GB of NAND flash storage. And regarding the unboxing, it's pretty simple. Once we open the package, we will find the Mini PC on the top, HDMI cable and a power adapter and that is it. And now taking a closer look on the front it has a black plastic cover on the right side no ports at all while on the left side one headphone jack two usb 2.0 ports and one power button finally at the back one micro sd card slot two usb 2.0 ports hdmi output ethernet connection power input jack and a non-detachable antenna and on the bottom a metal piece as we can see on screen that i actually would like to see some rubber fit on it but <laughs> that is actually easy to fix just by getting some at any any shop and in terms of build quality it is made of a metallic enclosure and it's not bad at all but also not the strongest that I've seen so far but what concerns me more is the power button that feels weak and I'm not sure if it will handle any abuse from us so I would suggest if you get one of these just be gentle with it the machine came with Windows 8.1 but after a couple of hours I had Windows 10 on it and it's working just fine and moving along to our benchmarks and starting with speed test through a power line adapter as usual we are getting on wi-fi 51 megabits per second on download and 15 megabits per second of upload while on the ethernet connection we are getting 95 megabits per second on download and 20 megabits per second of upload which by the way the power line adapters that i'm using at this moment are the devolo power line adapter kit with gigabit connection and wi-fi ac and if you want to check a full review it's available on the channel just check out the youtube card on the right top corner of this video and moving on on geekbench 3 we got 735 on single core score and 1923 on multi-core score and finally on 3d mark score i storm extreme standard version not the extreme we got roughly 14,000. And in terms of browsing experience, it works as good as any other machine that we have tested with the Intel Z3735F. The experience is great even when watching YouTube videos at 1080p, which handles just fine as we can see it on screen. And for apps like Word, Excel or PowerPoint, once again, these machines are great if we want to use them in office, keeping a low budget with a great experience for the most basic tasks. And of course, with a small footprint and a fanless design. And regarding gameplay, I tested out two games from the Windows Store, one of which is Order and Chaos 2. That is a World of Warcraft wannabe type of game. Now, this is not a critic at all because for a mobile platform, the game is actually pretty nice and the Cozy One Mini PC can handle just fine. Now, the second game was Asphalt 8, as always here on the channel. And as usual, the experience was also great. So this just proves once again that although the z 3735F is not able to run desktop gaming, but it will play fine just any mobile platform games. 
And finally, here we are with our video playback test. And for that, I started with Cody, which played Big Bug Bunny and Tears of Steel, both versions at 1080p and 4K, just fine. All files are stored on my NAS and streamed across my network. I also installed Plex Server and Player, which was also capable of playing the same movies and all the others that I have on my library. But unfortunately, because of copyright issues, I cannot show them publicly. And talking about copyright regarding Big Bug Bunny and Tears of Steel, both were shown under Creative Commons 3.0 and all credits due are down below on the video description. So in conclusion guys, things that I did like the most were the overall performance that it's great and we can get it at a very low cost. On the other hand, things that I did like less, I was not impressed with the overall build quality and also the power button feels weak and might break easily. And that is it regarding the Cozy One Mini PC overview. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Alberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.